Hey guys, Brent Fierstead, personal trainer, Dream to Achieve Fitness, my company, um, also a nutrition consultant. I'm going to go through key things you need to know about doing 225 um, combined training. You know, see how many reps you can get up on 225 bench. Okay, there are three phases to lifting. Everyone that does this should know this. You know, there's a concentric phase, which is the positive portion of the exercise, um, the hard part of the lift. So pushing the bar up off the chest is the concentric phase. There's an isometric phase where you're holding it at the top or bottom of the movement to isometric, isolate that muscle group, meaning your pec major, pec minor. And there's an eccentric phase, the negative portion of the exercise, the easy part of the exercise, bringing the bar down to the chest. So I'm going to go through five different exercises to help you out with your um, 225 repping out, um, things that are going to help you get strength in that area, um, more better range of motion, different muscle groups you can strengthen to help out that bench press. Um, so let's just get into it. I'll explain everything once we get into those exercises. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, this first exercise is a dumbbell bench hammer grip. Basically having your palms face each other, a neutral grip. This is going to get you a very good stretch with your chest. So you want to come down a little wider than uh, your chest to get, to get that stretch and go as deep as possible. And you want to shoot for endurance and speed when you're doing this. So going as fast as you can, three sets till failure. As you see here, you know, I'm getting a good stretch going down, keeping that neutral grip. It's basically just adding a more different stimulus to your upper arm because of the change in the rotation in the arm. So give this a shot. This is going to help with that deep contraction and quick, powerful, explosive movements. Weight wise when you're doing this, you want to go fairly heavy, about 65-75% of your max. This next exercise is a row isometric wave series. Now this is working your traps, your rhomboids, the things that are keeping your shoulder blades squeezed together when you're doing five points of contact on your bench press. As you see there, I'm holding it for six seconds, doing two reps, then holding it for five seconds, two reps, so on, all the way down to two seconds. You'll see that as I perform this, basically placing your feet flat on the ground, have your chest up against a nice stable surface, Drive your elbow straight back, keeping those shoulder blades locked at all times, basically meaning retraction. So you're keeping those traps and rhomboids upper back um, squeezed tight right there. Um, this is an isometric movement. Um, there's a better way to train isometric strength than isometric wave training. Um, so this rowing action is going to help out with that. This next one is a variable load speed bench. You see I have chains there for resistance. You can also use bands. Basically, the higher you go, the heavier it's going to be because the more the chain comes off the bench there. So, this is going to help out with your 225 rep max or test for reps in your combine. Um, you want to have rapid action with a stretch reflex here. So, you want to keep enhanced motion over the time. It's crucial to have speed, but it's equally important to have reversal strength and the deceleration component towards the chest. So you see the eccentric phase as far as this first uh, first movement, first tempo, I'm doing a 1-1-1. One, one, one. Basically down one second for the eccentric, hold it for one second for the isometric, squeezing that muscle, and then exploding up through the full range of motion for one second, hold it up top. Um, the second tempo I do on here is basically a two, or sorry, a star one star. Um, high speed eccentric loading the bar coming down high speed coming down one second isometric so you're still holding that phase there and then you're exploding up through the full range of motion so down fast hold up fast okay performing when you're doing these exercises of this uh, variable load speed bench you want to do about 12 sets and only three reps I'm performing six reps here just so I can show you guys you know how it's done um, but that's a star one star okay tempo three is star 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 basically reflex down and up at the same time with no isometric pause on this one so you're not bouncing up your chest either 
coming down quick, right back up, no pause. Quick as you can go, powerful, fast, explosive movements. One key when you guys are benching is bring your elbows underneath the bar just a slight bit. That's going to help with your chest. This next exercise is a plyometric movement, ideally for muscle power. Being as quick as you can, catching the ball, shooting it up as fast as you can. Uh, plyometric movements are working your type 2B muscle fibers, so your quick explosive power muscle fibers, quick reacting muscle fibers. Give it a shot. Last exercise is a speed band pull down. Triceps are a huge part in your bench press. They are synergist, meaning helper muscle in the bench press. Perform this exercise by standing inside the band, keeping your elbows tight, facing forward with a slight lean. You're going as quick as you can go, three sets till failure, extending the arms, keeping that tension using that band. Once you've done that, switch your grip to palms facing you, really isolating the medial head. This is going to help with a full range of motion on the concentric. Another important exercise to add is a rear delt cable fly. You know, when you're going down in the eccentric phase, the easy part of the bench press, bringing the bar to your chest, when you explode up from the chest going up into the concentric phase, the hard part, the main muscle that's flexing, helping get that bar off your chest is your rear delt. So you should really build up your rear delt too. That's going to help with the benching. Um, it's your synergist and antagonist in this uh, bench press. So do some rear delt movements that are going to help out with that too. Also, guys, before you start any exercise, you know, make sure you warm up five to ten minutes. Dy dynamic warm up, you know, a regular warm up. Basically, just getting your your blood flow going, warming up your body, getting those muscles ready for your routine. Another good thing, since you're going to be doing uh, bench pre press training, things that I had shown you in this video, is you always want to start with some kind of rotator warm up. You know, taking the cable going in and out, because um, your your pec major, pec minor, you know, connects to your humerus bone, which is right here. It actually runs across and connects to the humerus right there. So you want to do something to warm up that uh, uh, ball and socket joint, sorry, ball and socket joint in the shoulder. Um, definitely want to warm that up. Rotators, I'd add that in there uh, to warm those up. You know, lightweight, just getting that ball and socket joint ready for, you know, some of those exercises that I'd shown you in this video. Give this stuff a try. You know, there is a way to put this into a program to where you will succeed and see number changes. Um, rep changes, things of that nature. You know, if you need something like that, let me know. Check me out at dreamingachievefitness.com. You can always shoot me an email. Check me out on Facebook. Like my Dream and Achieve Fitness page on Facebook. There's always good stuff on there that I can help you out with too, guys. Um, thanks for watching the video. See you.